Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. So today I am finally going to be doing something with my poor Monstera dubia here. Uh, yeah, it has just been growing wild. It is wrapped all the way around this little moss pole that it has in there. Look at that new little leaf that's getting um, crunched under there. Yeah, uh, this is going to be very interesting to, one, um, remove from here. I have no idea how that's going to go. I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a chaotic energy moment. And another reason for that is because I, I've i never made a moss plank before. don't really know what I'm doing. I feel like the easy way to do this would be to take a piece of wood and then put moss and like wrap twine or something around it to fasten it but I don't have a piece of wood um what I do have however is my handy hardware mesh that I'm always raving about when I make my moss poles um I have seen people make them this way before I haven't really I couldn't really find any videos on YouTube or anything so yeah this is definitely experimental we shall see how it goes I basically plan to cut two pieces of this and then just zip tie the sides up and I have a stake um that I'm somehow gonna try to put in I don't know I don't know you guys okay we will see how this goes um <laughs> it's gonna be a ride so buckle up um okay so I'll show you everything that I'm working with here and then once I start I will change the camera angle so you can see I'm set up on my kitchen floor so welcome to my kitchen floor um in front of me I have my potting mat from leaflet and uh, zip ties, black zip ties, you guys, check it out, check it out. I really went wild this morning and I drove my butt to Walmart and got black zip ties. This is big, this is a big moment for us on my channel. I've been using those bright, those bright ass pink and not even pink, red and yellow and blue zip ties um, from the dollar store for like a year. And they're almost used up, there's still some left, but the reason that I decided to just go ahead and buy the black ones is because they're gonna be more visible on this project so yes black zip ties um and then i have a couple of pots this is a five inch terracotta and this is a six inch and the reason i have two is just because i'm undecided with um which size i'm gonna be going with so we will see um scissors i also have my potting mix bin beside me here my cup of joe um my plant obviously i think that's pretty much it so yeah let's just get started i don't even know i don't even know where to start okay let me fix the camera angle okay besties this is going to be um an interesting experimental project so let's move this I guess I am going to start by just cutting my pieces here. Okay, this is kind of uneven. This is the 10X, I don't know if that's how you say it, the 10X brand um, of hardware mesh. I do have it linked on my um, Amazon storefront, which is in the description box. If you didn't know, I link I try to link most of my favorite products on there so that you guys can find them. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this extra random piece off. I can use this for like a baby moss pole one day or something, I don't know. Um, now I have to decide how wide I want it to be. I don't want it to be very wide. Like I don't think it needs to be super. Let's just see because I don't want it to be wider than this pot I think I'm gonna cut about here yeah okay I'm just eyeballing this truly And I'm just gonna have to cut another piece 
the same size. Okay, done with this bad boy. Maybe I will zip tie one of the sides first and then I can stuff it. Okay, I think I'm formulating a plan in my head. I'm gonna zip tie the side and then I'm going to zip tie a few, a few ties around this um, piece of wood and then put the moss in. So let's try that. We love an experimental moment. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do it this way. that I forgot a very important uh, supply for this project, which is the sphagnum. So I just wet this sphagnum and wrung it out. So it's just kind of moist. And now I'm going to fill it up. Fill the pole up. Okay, the plank, the pole plank. So this is the finished result. I'm pretty happy with how it came out, honestly. I think it's going to 
work just fine. My only concern is that this is pretty heavy. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna have to have it in a situation where it's like has a wall to kind of be propped on, you know? We'll see, I don't even know where I'm gonna put this plant um, now because obviously it cannot go back in the cabinet. Okay, so I guess my next step is to pot this guy up. I have to decide what pot I feel like. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, okay, let's let's take a look at the roots before I decide what pot we're gonna be going with. So I'm going to use my mister and wet, um, wet the pole so that it's easier for me to get this thing detached. I just, ugh, I feel like this is really gonna be a struggle, but let's wet it um, and see what we can do. I honestly don't even know where to start. It's like really on there. It's really, really on there. Uh, hmm. I wonder if I could, I don't know. Maybe I'll pull it out and then decide. Okay, so the roots look good, but there's not like a ton, a ton of them. Like it's not super root bound or anything. So I'll probably go with the five inch as opposed to the six inch. Now I'm wondering if I should just leave that moss pole. Ugh. Let's see, it's hard to do. It's only two hands. Okay, I'll try to do this so that you guys can see. Also, I'm just trying to see. I honestly think that I might just leave the pole and then the new growth can just attach to this situation. I think that's gonna be my best bet, to be honest. I think, I think, I think. Okay, I'm gonna fill this up with a little bit of potting mix. I think that's gonna be good. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool when she attaches onto there. Holy crap, okay. So I'm going to, I need more hands, oh man. Okay, I'm going to um, fill the pot. Okay, I've got it filled up with soil. Let me get this situated and I'll come back to show you, okay? Okay guys, so here is where I decided to put her. So she's right beside my Mills Botol, um, getting light from the grow light that's in there. I really, I don't know, I was thinking about putting her in my bedroom, but that's where my thrip problem is right now and I just really, I just didn't want to do that so she's gonna be living here for now I gently put um, a piece of plant velcro around it's just like very very gently kind of loosely um, pressing the plant against the moss plank just so just so she is able to find it which I'm sure she will uh, the thing with these um, monster dubias and probably most other shingling plants is that they just want to climb so badly they will find a way like honestly I don't think it really matters what type of 
um, like what type of object you give it to climb, it will find a way to attach. It used to be attached to the pegboard in my cabinet. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that she'll find her way and attach onto there. And I'm very excited for when that happens. Of course, I will be giving you guys updates. I just think it's going to be so cool to see her climbing up that. Can you guys imagine? Like that's gonna be so amazing. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It's a little wonky towards the top. I don't know like why, I don't know. It's kind of curving weird, but honestly it doesn't bother me too much. I don't really care. It's gonna work fine. And yeah, I just have it resting lightly against the wall. Should be happy there. My biggest concern right now is just it adapting to life outside of the cabinets. Um, but it's a pretty hardy, pretty resilient plant, so I think it'll do okay. I do need to give it a water, so let's go do that. So for now, I'm just going to be doing all of the watering and misting and everything um, just in, in place. Uh, once it's attached to the moss then I will be more comfortable like moving this whole thing to the shower but for now just because it's so wobbly and um, weird I'm just going to be oh water's already coming out the bottom okay okay that'll probably reabsorb in a few minutes but yeah once it's attached then I'll probably just bring it to the shower when it's dry for now just gonna water it here all right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you and Yes? What? You trying to come in and say something? You, okay, okay. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. Cannot wait to give you guys updates on my Monstera Dubia. It's turning into one of my plants that is one of the more exciting ones um, for me to watch grow. It's just really cool and it's one of my only shinglers. It's the only plant that, it's the only shingler that I'm growing as a shingler. Cause I do have some skin dapsis, but I just grow them trailing so far. Anyways, okay, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Try